And we're taking a look at the currency market now with Namvuyo Guma, macroeconomic strategist at Standard Bank. Namvuyo, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Well, a weaker rand coming through yesterday and no surprises really on the back of uh, what c came through from uh, Europe. But having said that, we saw the rand on a weakening trend already given some of our own local economic data. Hi, Alicia. Yes, I mean, the RAND did start off on a bad note in the morning. We had the bigger than expected current account deficit. Then we got some very uh, disappointing manufacturing and mining production data. So by the time the ECB's announcement came out, the RAND was already weakening um, and quite firmly on the back foot. And then in the event, the, the ECB's announcement, they did cut rates as expected. They did ease lending for banks, but they didn't provide the kind of support for the Eurozone bond market that markets were apparently looking for because the response to that announcement was quite uh, a sharp negative one and so we saw the rand retreat quite sharply on the back of that and it also seems to be quite softer this morning yep absolutely we've got uh, the ecb uh, president discouraging expectations that the bank would massively step up uh, you know the buying of government uh, bonds if european leaders agree on moves uh, towards that you know closer fiscal union on that end at that crucial brussels summit so that dowsing uh, some of the market spirits right now what have you made of that and has it altered your expectations out of today's summit. Um, it hasn't really altered our expectations. I think what it does is throw the ball back in the court of the EU leaders. Really, um, the pressure is on them to come up with a credible solution today. Um, market expectations are high in following the ECB's announcements. I think there's quite a lot of pressure that this is almost a last-ditch um, effort or their last chance to get it right and, and prevent further calamity in the Eurozone. So I think all it's really done is, is crank up pressure on, on today's outcome. We just touched on some of the data that filtered through from China this morning, Nomvoyo, industrial output growth hitting its slowest pace in more than two years and then inflation tumbling as those economic conditions deteriorate on that end. Uh, what have you made of that move, uh, of the kind of moves we've seen there and what's your reading of the Chinese situation? Well, it's quite clear that that uh, growth in that economy is slowing, and that's not surprising because China's links with Europe as a trading partner are quite strong. So the slowdown that we're seeing in Europe was bound to show up in their economic data at some point, and it seems to have been showing up now. Um, but what was encouraging is that the People's Bank of China has been cognizant of this fact, mm -hmm. and now with inflation starting to slow, we've already seen them easing on reserve requirements for banks, and so that monetary support is coming through for that economy. Um, and of course, should things continue to deteriorate, rate in Europe and inflation continue to slow in China, then the possibility of further easing from that economy can't be ruled out. Of course, that uh, the data point that, uh, that came through today. Overall, what is your uh, forecast for the trading range? Let's look at uh, dollar rand first of all. Um, well, we would expect the RAND, we think that it's still going to be, remain on, on a weakening trajectory today. I see it's already into the mid-820s and probably drift weaker today, but a lot, of course, depends on what happens out of Europe. So if we have some positive statements coming out of there that manage to turn market sentiment, then we could see some further strength coming into the RAND. Um, but it probably just between, you know, sort of 820 to 830 range for today. Okay, we've broken just out of that range at 831.12 right now. And Numvoyo, when it comes to uh, the euro, Iran, and the status on that front, what are you forecasting there? Um, we'd expect that the euro will probably remain under pressure as, uh, you know, ahead of the final announcement on that summit. Um, but again, that highly dependent on today's events. Um, we are seeing, you know, the euro under pressure and we expect that situation to remain until or unless we get quite a credible solution out of Europe again. So, as I said, the pressure on EU leaders uh, is quite strong and markets really looking for that summit for some sort of direction today.